je, je m'appelle Phil Drabble. J'étais professeur de français, mais aujourd'hui, aujourd je suis inspecteur. Je m'appelle Barbara Nielsen, je suis conseillère pédagogique. Je m'appelle Alison Allen, je suis conseillère pédagogique en langue vivante. Je m'appelle Dave Gilwhite, je suis professeur. Um, je m'appelle Nicola Blount, professeur. Bonjour. Bonjour. Salut. In this program, we're looking at how secondary and primary teachers in Mansfield are sharing skills and knowledge to deliver modern foreign languages at Key Stage 2. In the 1960s, primary languages were taught widely, and one of the reasons it fell apart was because there was a lack of liaison between primary schools and secondary schools, so that the children would come into the secondary school with different experiences of learning a modern foreign language and therefore the secondary schools were not able to capitalise on what had happened in the primary schools. In 2003, Nottinghamshire secured DFES funding for a primary Pathfinder project. The aim was to increase teacher expertise and pupil enjoyment of modern foreign languages. Nottinghamshire is now building on its experience of the Pathfinder project and developing relationships between secondary and primary schools within a school family cluster. Our starting point really was to have a, a family approach to this. In other words, um, having um, clusters of schools work together on primary projects. We're adopting the family model in Nottinghamshire because essentially we're building on existing networks that, that work really well in most cases. And it also allows families to support each other and also to really instill that cross-phase collaboration between the secondary and the primary schools, both of which have their expertise to bring on primary modern foreign languages. We had a situation where primary schools were learning language in their own schools. In the French alphabet, at first I couldn't get any of it, but and, uh, the third time I had a go, I could get it. Secondary school teachers who were teaching modern foreign language across uh, one or two or more primary schools. We start off like with an easy word, and then we get to hard in, harder and tricky words, and then we get in pairs to learn chattering to each other foreign language assistants, working schools. In some cases, we had effectively peripatetic language teachers. My brother knows a bit of French. Sometimes parents of children going in and, uh, and teaching languages. Miss Blunt and Mr Gilwhite did it in a fun way rather than in a boring way. Ça, et qu'est-ce que c'est ça? I did my degree in German and I've done French A-level before that. I really learned to teach French with very simple instructions and breaking things down, you know, me having to really learn the language again, if you like, just to, to be sure about what I was teaching. So I kind of had to build my own confidence up, really, as I started qualifying. At secondary, I teach German right up to A-level, but French in key stage three and obviously in key stages one and two through this project. There is a tendency, I suppose, for secondary school teachers to see themselves as teachers of subjects. I am a German teacher. Primary school teachers see themselves as teachers of children who happen to be teaching German. And that, that has, I think, has been a, a, a challenge. But the project wouldn't succeed unless we had the cooperation of the secondary schools because we wanted everyone to be, uh, to be performing in the same way. And so we were very lucky in having such a, a proactive AST in Dave and uh, a highly enthusiastic and, and, and gifted primary teacher in Nicola. Bonjour, la class. Bonjour. 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 Excellent. Initially, I was horrified. The head explained to us in a staff meeting that it was going to be part of a Pathfinder project and asked how we felt about it. And if I'm being completely honest, 90% of the staff in the school sort of rejected the idea straight away. You know, we were talking about how, how can we expect children to learn a foreign language when still, even in Key Stage 2, they're not fluent in English? Yes. Um, we. Nicola is an excellent example of someone who did GCSE French but a good while ago and has picked it up and run with it. Long. 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 
Dave and I team teach when he comes in. He might do the introduction, I might do the main part of the lesson, and then Dave will follow up with the plenary. And at first I was even horrified by that. Just somebody else, an experienced foreign language teacher, observing me teach or attempt to teach a foreign language. So I was mortified. But with the constructive criticism, the constructive feedback that I received from Dave, I was able to build on that. These are the things that I would like you to know and that Mr Gilwright would like you to know by the end of the lesson, OK? We're going to be thinking about introductions and greetings, aren't we? How we talk to people. Bonjour! I think it's a good idea to learn French because if you go to French, if you go to France one day and someone talks to you, like if you go on the phone and it's someone French, you, you, and if you didn't learn French, you'd be like, what? What are you saying? Je m'appelle Nathalie. Repete. Je m'appelle Nathalie. Excellent. Qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? Je m'appelle Nathalie, madame. My name is Nathalie. Excellent. Très bien. Staff okay. want to do it really well, of course they do. It's a huge challenge initially, but if you actually break it down and work with staff, the first and most important thing is that they actually see French being taught with their classes. I would ask them to follow up just in five, ten minute slots. I'm not asking for a lot straight away. Just so they can build up their confidence. Bonjour, Thomas. Bonjour, Thomas. When I just started and learning them sound. I thought Thomas was just like Tom, like that. But actually it was turned out to be Thomas. Break it down, OK, what activities can I do? You know, OK, I can do instructions, good. I can see those little sounds in French that are different. Great, I'll have a go at it. Come on, tout appel. Je m'appelle Thomas. After speaking with Dave, having a couple of insets, the primary and modern foreign language conference, I thought, no, no, this, this could be quite interesting. A lot of the methodologies have come through literacy and numeracy in Key Stages 1 or 2 and have been adapted for the Key Stage 3 strategy in languages. So things like the use of whiteboards, the um, talking about language, looking at examples, using text, those are methodologies that we've taken, if you like, into secondary school from primary school. And then there's the other side, the expertise in teaching French, which we're bringing to, to primary schools. So, you know, there's a lot of transfer of skills. Watching Dave and seeing his interaction with the children, his transition from one activity to another, um, which then I followed up in my own time. And definitely, my confidence has now improved so much. What's that sound? For them to get to know me a bit before they come to the school, it was brilliant. I mean, they'll come up and they'll stop me in the corridors, even when I don't teach them, and they know me because I've taught them in primary. It's developed the, the links between our schools as well, which, you know, it's been really rewarding. En anglais. How are you? Excellent. Très bien. I like it when um, we, like, uh, we're in partners and um, one person's A and one person's B and um, we've got this, the things that we have to say on the board and um, A has to say the first one and B has to say the second. Person A, person B, oui? Person A. Salut, Constance, ça va? Bob et tu, Edouard, ça va? Oui, ça va. Au revoir, Constance. Au revoir, Edouard. Fantastique. Salut means hi. Bonjour means hello. And comment tu t'appelles means what is your name? The children were sort of a little bit phased, a little bit put off about learning a foreign language. It was something that only the secondary children did, the pupils that go to secondary school. They are just so enthusiastic and so motivated by them now. Mr Gilroy chooses someone and chucks the teddy to them and then um, they have to try and answer it and they have to chuck it back. If it all lands on you, you need to tell me hello 
en français. Monsieur. Hello, en français. Bonjour. Excellent. Madame. Bonjour. Excellent. Bonjour. Monsieur. Hello, bonjour. Bonjour, en français. What about? Hi. Salut. Excellent. Madame. Salut. Excellent. Très bien. Salut. Doesn't that has a silent T now? I think we need, next to these learning outcomes, a great big tick next to say hello, because you can all say hello. You can say bonjour and salut. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. They can see their own progress. They're enjoying studying the language, and I think they will say, yeah, French, I enjoy Madame. learning French. If you went to France, then you might, um, like, think of them words, what, well, sounds, what you learnt in class, and then think about what it said. Oh, Excellent. Très bien. Oh, fantastic. I can't believe you've done all of that. That's brilliant. You've done one to five, but you've also done much more than that because you've been reading French texts and you've been working out what they mean as well. Now, if I was doing this at my school, senior school, I'd be doing this with the Year 7s, and I bet they wouldn't do it as well as you've just done it in Year 3. That is absolutely brilliant. So let's just finish off the session with some sounds. I was really pleased how it went in terms of there was a, a blend of content and skills in the lesson, so we, Nicholas started off by doing the alphabet. Chante. Lou, un, deux, trois. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, R, G, G, K. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, R, G, G, K. L, M, N, O, P, Q, A. L, M, N, O, P, Q, A. S, T, U, V, W, V, X, Z, Y, Z. You're really starting to say the sounds well. We well also done. picked out sounds, so, hello, so strings of letters, so that they're building up their understanding of French. So everything that we did as a whole class, we actually demonstrated in pairs as well. There was also the shared reading, and that's very effective, and just the way that the students were engaging with the language. Team teaching has been a, a huge success because it's enabled the teachers in the classroom to sustain the French teaching once Dave and Nicola kind of cut the umbilical cord. Thomas, Hans, Hans, Edouard, Natalie, Sal, Salut, Zaba. We have a view of what good primary language teaching and learning looks like. Um, we want children to have a very positive experience of it. I like no learning new words because it's fun, because you get like a, activities to do when you learn, learn new words. Like the ER, where you pass it around and stuff. We want it to be fun, um, we want it to be engaging, but at the same time, we believe that it needs to be very carefully structured and pupils need to make genuine linguistic progress. Au revoir.